Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a question about using my failed startup as work experience in my resume. Can I do that? I, I love these questions where it's like permission, like can I have permission to do this thing? Like as if you need my permission or anyone else's permission or blessing. You can do whatever you want, but, but I'll address that in a minute here. But before I do, I do want to tell you about Hire.com, who is an awesome sponsor for Simple Programmer. Uh, I don't take on very many sponsors here, right? I mean, you know this, right? You don't see a lot of sponsors. And that's because I don't really <laughs> connect with a lot of a lot of sponsors, you know? But I do with Hired. Uh, Hired, I am on board. I, I like them. I like what they're doing. I agree with it. I'm happy to support to support the message, right? So anyway, go to hire.com forward slash simple programmer, check them out. Basically what they do is they help you find a job, but they do it sort of the reverse way than what you're used to. You get to apply one time and then a bunch of companies come to you. A lot of big companies, they have like Facebook, I forget exactly all that. They've got a ton of, of big companies, really good jobs there. Uh, it is difficult, but you know, give it a shot. See what, see what you can do. Uh, you know, do a good job on the application process though. Make me look good please okay <laughs> anyway go to hire.com for slash simple programmer uh, you want to use that link by the way because you'll get two thousand dollars sign-on bonus instead of one thousand dollars so basically if you get a job they're gonna pay you two thousand dollars instead of one that's pretty cool anyway so I got this question uh, basically can I use my failed startup uh, work experience in a resume um, and and uh, let's see, so the, the question is from George and he says, is there a way for me to show that one year uh, struggle as experience <laughs> if there's no proof uh, of that? The source code and game materials were destroyed after our team broke up. So got no proof. You did a startup for a year, you got no proof. The proof is in here, buddy. You don't need proof. First of all, let me, let me tell you about these, these questions about asking for permissions or can I do this thing? And I know you're not really asking me permission, but you kind of are, right? You're kind of like, you're coming out with this default stance that someone has to give you permission or tell you you can do a thing before you can do it. You can do whatever you want, right? You, you don't need to ask me, can I put this on your resume or can I, can I, put, this, can I put this on my resume or, or not? Because there are no rules. There are, well, okay, there are rules, quote rules, but rules are meant to be broken. You, you can do whatever you want. You can call things experience. The only thing you can't do, right, or you shouldn't do, is lie, right? You know if you're lying, okay? If you wanna frame things differently or spin things, you know, you might get into some murky gray areas, but that's, that's pretty legitimate in my book. Just don't outright, like, don't lie, right? And if someone calls you and asks you about it, just be like, look, this is what I did. Yeah, cool, right? I mean, you see me here when I do these YouTube videos, right? Do I hide shit from you? Do I lie about stuff? No. I'm like, if you call me, if you're like, hey, why'd you put that pop-up on there? So I can get your email address, so I can sell you something, so I can make money, so I can keep Simple Programmer going, so I can reach more people, so I can pay my, and, and pay my, the salaries for my employees. There you go, right? Yes, you have caught on to my scheme, my evil scheme of making a pop-up and giving you a free email address uh, so that I can eventually, hopefully, if you're getting value from what I'm producing, make some money. Oh man, have you figured out that these YouTube videos make money? Maybe, maybe you just figured out that Hire.com uh, pays me f money for a sponsorship. Could you imagine that? Wow, right? It's, but my point is this, it's like, I don't mean to go too off topic, but be, be, be somewhat transparent. Like if someone calls you, just, just say, honestly, like it's fine. Like if I'm telling you this, do you, how many of you, some of you have a problem, right? But most people are like, oh, okay, cool. That, that makes sense. So you, you're like, you do like sponsorship and you make some money. Okay. Oh, your email courses. Okay. So yeah, sign up and, uh, and then you've got a product to sell. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as long as you tell me, but when it's all sneaky, sneaky, right? That's when you get into trouble. And that's why I, and I'm saying this all for a reason, which is because that's where this comes in with this thing. Put this, put the startup, the failed startup as work experience. You worked, right? You were a developer. You don't need to show proof of that. You don't need the, the source code. You can talk about it, okay? But if they say, like, look, what, what's the deal here? This seems a little bit weird. Just be honest. Just be like, look, dude, here's what I did. 
I, you know, we, we started the startup company, we were doing game development. It was so, I learned so much from doing this. It was fun. I mean, running your own business, like doing all this stuff, right? And I worked on this. I don't have the source code. We got rid of it. Like we had a tax problem or whatever it was, you know, whatever the honest truth is, right? That's not going to cause you to have to plead the fifth or whatever. But you should, you see what I'm saying? And if you're just genuine and honest about that, that's going to be like, the, it's going to be good. In fact, you know, one, it, it's great to have a failed startup as a work experience on a resume that you started. Like that's, that's probably one of the best things you can have on your, on your resume for a couple of reasons. One of them being like, you, you got kicked in the nuts, right? Like you, you, and you tried, you did something, you felt what it's like to run a business uh, and, and you, and you worked, right? You must've been, you know, busting butt. Like sometimes failure is better than success, right? You know, because you, because you, it shows that you've got, you've got character, you've got some gumption, you, you, you did something like, and you, and you're still back here. You didn't just, you know, go in and go lie in a ditch when you failed, like you're back and you're trying again, right? You know, so it could be a good thing, right? So don't, don't worry about that. But again, the big thing though, my big message with this video is just like, don't, don't worry about the rules and what you're supposed to do and like, do what makes sense to you. Think about this. Like, okay, can I, how can I frame this? How can I get an advantage out of this situation? Turn something that's bad into something good. Uh, and I honestly think this is something good. Put it on your resume, go ahead. So what? Maybe someone, and then see what happens. Maybe they're like, oh, every time you put it on your resume, it, you get a bad outcome. So then don't, so then don't fine. But you're not, as long as you're honest, right? And you tell people, right? That's, that's the one thing is like, if you want to piss people off, if you want them to not trust you and you want them to be upset with you, hide the fees, hide the thing, hide what you're really doing and don't, and, and, and try to make excuses for it. If, if you're just open and honest, you're like, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like, this is why. And here, here you go. People understand. And it's the same thing with your resume, you know, what you put on your resume, not just this, but anything you put on your resume, just be like, spin it how you want, frame it how you want. But when it comes down to it, and people ask you, like, be open about that, be honest, and 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 tr and, and still spin it to a good. But don't don't hide stuff. People will know. Like you know what I mean. Like when you're deceptively hiding stuff, right? So, anyway, I hope that helps you. If you like this video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, uh, you know you're missing out. You should definitely click the subscribe button. Go ahead and click it now. I'll wait. I will <laughs> because I don't want you to miss out on the, on the videos. You don't have to watch all the videos. I do like two to three a day, but you can choose and pick and see which videos you like and, and watch those ones. So anyway, I uh, appreciate you. Thumbs ups are always appreciated. Thumbs downs are, are looked on with, uh, with a little bit of dismay, but you know, also appreciate it as well. Take care. <laughs>